Hello and welcome to another news bulletin on today's. Days after singer Chinamayi shared her personal account of having faced sexual harassment, the Me Too movement seems to be gaining a lot of momentum in the southern Indian film industry. The singer has accused lyricist Vairamuthu of sexually harassing and following this, actor-politician Kamla Hassan was asked about the movement that has taken the whole country by a storm. And he was questioned on the silence from one of the biggest film industries in the country. About this, the actor said that it would be inappropriate for the outsiders to comment on the ongoing movement. He explained that the victims should be the only ones being heard at this given time without people adding to the noise. Kamla said to the press in Chennai on Friday, it would be inappropriate for a third person to comment on an allegation and this wouldn't be justified either. If a woman wants to come out and tell her story, then there is no harm in that. We have seen women speak out against injustice since the days of Kannagi. What is required here is for the acquisitions to be genuine. The Me Too movement in India began with actor Tanushri Datta accusing noted Bollywood actor Tanana Patekar of sexually harassing her while shooting for a movie in 2008. Following this, a slew of accusations were made against men in Bollywood such as Vikas Bahel, Sajid Khan, Subhash Ghai, Lav Ranjan and a host of other actors. The movement gained attention in the South after Chinmayi actively started to share victims' accounts on her Twitter feed to help women stay anonymous. Since then, accusations have been made against composer Raghu Dikshit, who has apologized for his action. Singer Karthik has also been accused of sexually harassing women. In North, actors like Alok Nath and directors like Subhash Ghai have not only been accused of sexual harassment, they have also been accused of rape. If the movement keeps going the way that it is going, I am hopeful that the country will see a more safe working environment for women, for our sisters, for our daughters, for our mothers, for our wives, for our friends who go out and work in a hostile place. The places will become more friendly for them. That's our hope. I am Anpam Sinha, this is today's, and you are our dear, dear viewers. Thank you so much.